Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe's Classic Video Games back with another cool pinball video for you this evening. We have been working on this Bally Xenon pinball machine for a while now, and we finally got it up and running and doing its thing, and we figured we would film a video showing it off and appreciating it and playing it a little bit, just so you can remember what it was like back in the day. This came out in 1980 and was Bally's first game uh, that talked with speech. I believe, pretty sure Williams had already, uh, there it is, Williams had already done speech. Um, I believe Stern had too, because they had done Flight 2000. So, this was Bally's version of that. Now, they were smart enough to hire a lady <laughs> to do the speech, and it just sounds incredible. It has a one-of-a-kind sound to it. They kind of uh, did something similar to their Space Invaders back glass with the mirrored effect and the extra glass on it and the the, uh, the lights around the edge, and it just looks amazing. Just one of the most incredible back glass setups of any machine. This particular one's got a lot of LEDs in it, uh, which are colored, so it kind of is a little bit different than it would have looked originally, but it looks really nice. This particular one has also had an overlay put on it. The artwork was done by Paul Ferris, well known for, you know, doing awesome art. So, basically there is a female robot. I, I'm not even going to try to figure out what the theme is, but there is a female robot involved. <laughs> That's about all I can tell. But there's great art all over the thing. Try Xenon. Again, this is an overlay, uh, but it's pretty, I mean, it's very accurate. So this is what the painted art would have looked like as well. And so it has this little ramp here that goes down this tube. And so you make a shot, and it locks in that saucer. And then whenever you lock one in the top saucer, I believe, if I remember correctly, it starts multi-ball. a little spinner. Fantastic. It looks great without being creepy. You know, they did a good job with it, but Paul Ferris, what do you expect? The guy did all kinds of awesome artwork. Mm -hmm. This is when Bally had moved on to their kind of more photorealistic silk screening process too. So like, check out the hair, how it has just multiple tones in it and stuff. They could do a lot more with the art once they switched over to that process. It looks like the displays are flickering there, not. Then it has the four big trucker mirrors in the corner. <laughs> just because. Somebody asked me the other day, why are those on there? And I told them, just because. That back glass is in pretty much perfect shape. Look at that. Holy crap. How many light bulbs did they put in that thing? One, two, three, four, five, six. There's eight on each side. So that's 32 by my quick math. And then there's probably another 30 or so on the board behind that. So they just went all out with the light bulbs. The artwork is stenciled. And just has a cool old vintage early 80s look to it. Okay. So, let, oh, the, the, uh, I don't know how to pronounce her last name, but Miss Suzanne was the person that, who made the music. She was into electronic music in 1980, so they hired an actual musician. Not, she didn't really make the music. She may have made the music, but she, she is the voice that you're hearing. So she at least did that much. And uh, it just gave it a different vibe than some of the other games that had speech. They were very... The speech back then was very simple. So uh, Steve Ritchie did the speech, I believe, in Black Knight. And so it was uh, more of a Shao Kahn sound, you know. <laughs> uh, 
I can't remember what the Black Knight says, but but it was more. Uh, this is smooth and synthetic sounding, but that that speech is more demon sounding, and I think they were going for that. So I don't think he'll be offended if I say that. Instructions. Ball and top saucer advances the X in the center of playfield. The saucer's up there. Making three X's. First time, the ball passing through the tube remains captive in the hole. So that shot up there. I showed you that. The second time you make three X, it ejects the captive ball on the play field, putting two balls in action for multi-ball play. Okay, so basically every time you land on the top saucer, you're advancing that X. So if you do that six times uh, and lock one of the balls halfway through, it starts multi-ball. Multi-ball play. Making three X the first time lights the outlane specials in spinner for 1,000 points. Ball through the outlanes when lit for special scores extra ball or 50,000 points. So they do that because you can only score one extra ball per time. So if you do it again, you get 50,000 points. Making 3x is the second time scores an extra ball or 50 points. Okay. Lit top rollover button drops the lit target. So there are four little drop targets over here. And up here, if the one is lit and you roll over that little button, it'll drop that drop target. Dropping all targets scores and advances the lit value and lights return lanes for 10,000 points. So the lit value is 2x, 4x, 25,000, extra ball, and special. Ball passing through the tube scores and advances the lit exit value. So the exit value is here. So as you pop out of this gate, you score that and it spins it around a little farther. Maximum one extra ball per ball in play, tilt penalty, ball in play. If you want to learn more about the uh, lady who did the uh, sound for this, uh, you can check out her website. There's a link to it. Uh, on the Internet Pinball Database. Go to IPDB.org and just search for any pinball machine you want, but if you search for Xenon, you'll, uh, you'll find a link to that, and she tells the story of how she recorded all of the stuff for this because it's not just that one little sound thing. She, she's very uh, talkative in the game, so we'll, fig we'll find that out here in a second. So I'm going to set up the tripod, and we'll play through it a little bit. This is a very fun game, and I've got the thing set up pretty well where it... Where it uh, shoots and flips well. We did a, if you, if you watch the previous videos, we've done a little bit of work since then too. Adjusted some of the switches, adjusted the end lanes. Uh, there was an issue with the MPU board that we had to take care of. Um, but uh, I think we're good to go. So let's test it out a little bit. I'll set up the tripod and we'll see what 1980 was like. Okay, folks, we're going to play it a little bit. Look at that light show. This is our buddy Frank's game. Now, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to turn it up a little bit. Oh, and I checked. She did make the music as well. So it's going to be loud, people. So this is what it sounds like when you drop a quarter in it. If I can reach it. So that's the coin drop sound. All right, here we go. Oh, that's still loud. that's not loud enough. I'm, I might have went the wrong way. Okay, it's going to be significantly loud, people.
you'll see some little bit of weird stuff going on with the physics of the ball. That's the overlay. So this overlay, it has a little bit of, it's not perfectly flat. See what it did? Come on now. I don't think we're perfectly level either. Try a tube shot. Okay. Oh. oh, I missed. Said tube shot. trying. We're trying to get there, Xenon. First one's locked. So now I need to get in the saucer three more times. That's two. Did you see how it moved a little bit? Oh, come on. It didn't hit the switch, though. Come on now. I was robbed. Okay. It's got it's set on five ball two. That's this is ball four. Oh, not quite enough juice. That's two. Get in the saucer one more time. That ought to do it. Good. Well, that's a pretty decent little multi ball experience there. Oh. Come on now. Five hundred and eighty five thousand, baby. Oh, I missed. Oh. Come on now. All right, I got 636,560 points. That's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Let's try another one. There's some dude in the game, too. I don't know what that's all about. Oh. 
<laughs> Slid it right by me. I was killing it last game. This game, it's killing me. Welcome to Xenon. Yep. Okay, here I am. I'm at Xenon. I wonder if it's like Zion. One more X, one more Xenon before it'll lock in there. So I need to get back up to the top. Oh no, that was ball four already. I think it'll keep doing the X's unless you lock one. We're still on the first X. All right, we're gonna try it again. I only got 128,000 that time. I can do better than that. Come on now. What's up with that? Xenon. Okay. Oop, whoop. Come on now. A bit of a dead bounce there. So I need to get to the top, into the saucer. Three times. Or just two more times, actually. See, that was a wasted shot there. Oh, I missed the spinner. There we go. Xenon 2. Oh, come on now. I got Xenon. I'm going to make it a verb. There doesn't appear to be a skill shot, so that... Okay, so now... Now we can do the tube shot. Let's see if it'll add the... Yeah, it's it's letting me uh, rack up my Xenons without locking it in the tube shot. But at the beginning of the ball, it resets them. Why is it saying tube shot when I was on two? Hmm. Missed. Oh, come on. Come on now. trying. We're trying as hard as we can try. <laughs> we made the tube shot. 
Oh, I lost one already. What a horrible misfortune. Oh, come on now. Come on now. See, it's just... And when you hit the switch, it cuts it off. Oh, I was too slow on the trigger. Seventy-eight thousand. So the highest score supposedly is five million five hundred fifty-five thousand five hundred and fifty-five points. I don't believe that. How'd they get five points? How'd they get five points, people? They didn't get no damn five points on this game. There is no way that the high score is five million five hundred fifty-five thousand five hundred and fifty-five because you can't get five points. My score is four hundred seventy-eight thousand. You probably can't get a hundred points. Xenon. That's 10,000 points right there. Oh, wait a minute. I'm wrong. That's 30 points. But you still can't get one point. So how can you get five points? That don't make any sense. play a little better if I uh, give it a little more angle. I think it's maybe a little flat. It's just a little bit floaty, but you know, the an overlay makes them play a lot different. The ball rolls faster, and this one isn't completely flat, so there's like a couple little spots that'll catch the ball. Xenon too. So I need one more. Mm. Not quite enough. Ooh, popcorn. We're racking up those X's, the Xenons. I need one more. I need the tube shot and then to lock it in the top saucer. Missed it. <laughs> she seems satiated. Mm. It didn't last long, folks. Ain't that how it always goes? I guess that's why they call it the blues. You know, I gotta say, this is one of the most gorgeous games ever. I mean, it's just a really good looking game. Xenon. Oh, saved by the apron.
did pretty good there. Pretty good. It was all right. This is ball four. <laughs> Got lucky. <laughs> Backhand the tube shot. Come on now. Final ball. We're down to the last ball, people. Why, right, thank you for having me, Suzanne. Clever little piece of work there, how it can eject the ball before the other one gets down there. One more. One more time. Come on, baby. Come on now. Ooh, dead, dead hit there. Uh-oh, uh-oh! <laughs> Come on! I was completely robbed. Well, there you go, folks. That is Bally's very cool Xenon. Look at this freaking light show. Look at this. Look what it's doing, people. Look at it. Beautiful game. It's going nuts. <laughs> awesome. Well, there you go. Let's leave your comments below. Let us know what you think. Do you remember playing this one? I can imagine that this was unforgettable back in the day. Make sure to give us a thumbs up for taking the trouble to film it for you. We didn't have to do that. <laughs> and uh, make sure you check out My Brother Donnie. If you don't know about My Brother Donnie, my brother has his own channel here on YouTube. Uh, we work on pinball machines, arcade games, and jukeboxes. My Brother Donnie works on uh, vehicles, old buildings, things like that. So It's a similar vibe, but he's crazier than we are. Kind of like this machine. This thing's going nuts. Look at it. I haven't seen it do that. You think it's broke or is it supposed to do that? Now, if you want to support the channel, check out our website. Go to lionsarcade.com. And we have a parts page on there. Now, on our parts page, we have prices, pictures, and descriptions of all of our arcade games. I mean, on our regular page, we have prices, pictures, and descriptions of all of our arcade games, jukeboxes, and pinballs that are available for sale. But on our parts page, we have some of the parts that we use whenever we do repairs. And uh, we have, you know, things like our t-shirts and stuff like that. So, let's see if this thing's messed up. I don't know that it's supposed to be going all crazy like that. It's just fine, folks. It was just doing that because it was excited that I put it through the motions. So there you are. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you on the next video. Have fun.